you know, it's interesting. One one thing that we we do as a best practice, uh, I can't talk TNS, is uh, during the interview process, we'll ask, what's your favorite candy bar? And on the first day, you show up, and your candy bar is sitting there right on the on your desk, you know, with everything else that's ready, which is always amazing. So I asked most of the panelists what their favorite candy bar. We have Twix and uh, M&M, or peanut M&M's. Peanut M&M's. M&M's. I always M&M's. wanted to do a study in <laughs> my uh, psych days of what does that mean? What if your favorite candy bar is this? But, right. you know, it's those small things right. that I think, you know, whether you're a part of a large organization or a smaller organization, from employee count. Yeah, is they have doing to feel the matter. You know, that's one of the things. One of the things that we do along that same line is, you know, you may not have an employee that's going to start for two weeks or four weeks, or if you're overseas, it may be three months, and you don't want to have an opportunity where that employee hears nothing from you. Because at that point, it's like, did I make the right decision? They people make a decision. Sometimes they second guess those decisions. So if a week or two later you're saying handwritten note from the manager saying, "Hey, I'm really excited you're coming to join us. Here's some JSSI hat for you. Here's a JSSI shirt. I want to let you know we were thinking about you." And, and then that way, at least they know they get in the mail completely unexpected, and they're like, "Wow, this is really cool." So it's all those small things that can it, it's that. little touches to, to help them. <coughs> it, it's, it might be hard to do that. So at, at all. State, um, you know, you know, something like that because it probably would get really expensive for you guys. Well, I'm sure. But you're, but you're, I mean, you guys have such an amazing culture from you know from people that I know that witness this firsthand. It's like it's exciting to see all the things you know. I'm like making these mental notes of what does Allstate do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you probably do small things, you know, out of the gate just to you know as a manager as a leader to you know engage your employees early and often. Um, you know, anything from from your stance as uh, you know, in your role, your team really focusing on engagement from day one. Uh, you know, what do you what do you do? What do you look at? You know, what are your best practices to share? Sure. Um, so I am kind of all about meaningful work, and um, so one thing that I really like to do is you really get to know employees and 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 what they're interested in and what they want to be doing, and really try to make those opportunities happen for them. Um, it's not as a tangible an answer is the candy bar, <laughs> but I think it does make them, I mean, first of all, it keeps them engaged in their work. Yes. Secondly, I, I think they feel cared about or that I have this invested interest in in making their jobs fun. That, you know, it's not, that my interest isn't just about work getting done, that I really do want them to enjoy what they're doing. And so that's one way that I um, kind of uh, share a, a, a similar Cultural sentiment is yes. what you're talking about. I, you um, know, I can see the chocolate lasting maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> I can see, yeah. you know, having a manager sit down and have that conversation lasting a lifetime. So, you know, two different things.